G'day folks, yes, Bear here. Uh, just from my quick vid, a uh, bit of improvement to the layout to fix a few things, and I'll give you a look at uh, some new stuff I bought. So, right on, let's have a look. Yeah, the main thing I've done is uh, my lift bridge section here I had, new door, is now just a bridge. I screwed it down so it can't be moved. It was just becoming impossible to keep the tracks aligned because the old house walls move and the timber over the season, winter to summer, the timber swells and oh, it was just a nightmare. So before I screwed it down, I just put slide fish plates on, same as the other end too, uh, as far as they'd go and then drop it down and screw it in place, slide the fish plates back on, all good. Couldn't do this one because that's my programming track so they've got to stay separate but that's one is fine, it'll handle that. And um, yeah, oh things run much smoothly. The Euro trains could handle it but uh, I've got a few steam trains, all my stuff. Nah, no way, they just derail. No matter how good you reckon you had it, they drop off. So, yeah, so that's problem solved and everything runs really smoothly. Now, we better have a little demo. I thought the best way to test it is to get a Hornby out. But as my old mum used to say, why run, run one train when you can run seven? So let's have a go. Okay, there we got here. I got, uh, put, finally put chips into all my silver A4s, got them running. Flying Scotsman, another A4, I can't remember which one's which, they all look the same. And who else we've got coming here? Uh, another, what's that, Silver Link, Shaving away nicely. Uh, Born Accord here and Track 2, and a bit old Gadwell at the back there. They, in previously, there's no way they would do this, absolutely no way. So, yeah, now they'll just run for hours. Without any derailments, so I'm very happy with that. So that was, I think it was the right decision. It's a pain in the bum, you've got to climb under, but I get used to it, and I thought that'll keep me all fit and limber and stuff that it probably won't. So, yeah. But no, it's good. Yeah, I've been collecting flashed and ballast wagons, make a nice little rake to tow it along. Very happy with it. Oh, another new one, a uh, Backman Spectrum uh, Doodlebug. Uh, you can get the single units there, common as dirt, but I managed to get a hold of the two unit version, Baltimore and Ohio, pretty good. Uh, yeah, no, it's a nice life, it runs well. Yeah, up here we have a Roco brick box, it's a Dutch version of something or other, it's a mate for the other Roco down here. Uh, still DC, I haven't put a chip in it yet, but it runs really well in DC and it looks beautiful, so I'm happy with that one. Yeah, this one's a new one. It's a Pico Blauer Blitz. Uh, I think it's Austrian. Blue Lightning stands for, apparently. Um, yeah, found on eBay. The photos, they look pretty ordinary. And I thought, oh, it looks really plastic in toy light, but I'll give it a go. I've got it cheap. Take it out of the box. I was a bit amazed. It is bloody beautiful. Really well detailed. Lights in all everything. It's DCC. It only and it runs well. The lights are really dim. That's the only thing, but an upgrade will fix that problem. But yeah, that was a that was a bit of a bonus though, and I like that one. Yeah, picked up a rake of three Roco coaches. Really nice. I've started to I've put uh, the ESU lighting strip in one of them so far. <clears throat> uh, yeah, well, there's a lot of work in progress on my layout and match the Decatur address to that loco. So he pulls them and I just use that loco enter in the ECOS, control the lights, and it works fine. But no, they're pretty nice, so I like them. Again, scored some more Roco coaches. Don't know what they are, whatever, I thought they're a nice green and I thought that will be a perfect match for Crocodile. 
give him something to tow around and yeah no they, they look good really look good together i'm happy with them and last but not least is the corner of shame yes you too you know it right this lemur here i got, got it off ebay i've stripped that thing replaced every wire light put a decayer in oh it's just been a nightmare i put it on the shelf before i threw it against the wall it'll go but i'll work on it this one i got me not the old uh G Athern GP60 which is a great engine I thought he needs a mate so this one advertised DCC plus sound oh excellent runner the guys modified it from an SD9 to an SD7 whatever they are yeah I don't care it looked pretty good and I thought oh yeah got it for a reasonable price ha huh. what a dog the wheels are that filthy it wouldn't run I don't know how it could be an excellent runner with that and it's just a oh, noisy, poor runner. The chip, it's an MTC chip, is just hopeless. It's going to be ripped out and replaced with an ESU, I reckon. So, yeah, I got a lot of good purchases of eBay, but here's a couple of dogs, these ones, so we'll, we won't mention them again. Yeah, oh, well, there you have it, folks. Yeah, that's about it for there. I've got a couple of other video ideas in the pipeline, which I'll get out pretty soon. Thank you all to all my subscribers. I just well, stunned. Thank you. And everyone have a great day, and I'll catch you later. See ya.